Hey YouTube, welcome to another video and this is going to be a let's play on Football Manager 2012 and uh, for all of those who don't know what this game is, it's a football simulator game and by simulator I mean that you can't actually play this game um, you sim everything and you can actually see what's going on and change things that are happening like bring on substitutions but your goal is you're a manager of whatever team you choose and you have a uh, current objective and a goal so be that your objective is to keep this team in a league or take them from the bottom league to the top league um, you can do that in this game um, it's a very niche game I've got to say um, even for those in the UK um, hopefully a lot of people do like this game and do find it fun to watch some people might not so I totally understand um, it might not be your cup of tea so hopefully I can make this uh, let's play quite enjoyable and um, what I'm going to do is basically start in a division or a league that rarely is done I would have thought in let's plays I really haven't checked around but um, I'm not gonna do a uh, a team from the top division so be that from the uh, EPL from Liga 1 or Liga and um, the Liga BBVA and other leagues like that that are very popular to do I'm gonna do something a little bit obscure uh, that most people don't do and it's going to be quite fun I hope because uh, it's going to have hardly any money and we'll have to work on a shoestring budget to get this team good so um, these are the leagues I'm going to be loading up as you can see I've chose most of the, the big the big leagues like uh, Holland, France, Germany, Italy etc. I've chose a few of the uh, the lesser leagues, I would say, like the Chilean league. Um, these are just to get the players from, usually, and not actually to manage. Um, if we go into the next section, here it shows you you can actually actually uh, play in the league, which means you can be a manager there. Or if you do view only, like I did in the Chile league, it basically just loads up the players. Um, if you load up tons of these leagues, obviously, as you can see, the game speed is going to be quite slow. Um, so I chose large. I am going to be managing in Sweden, so that's where I'm going to be managing, and um, hopefully it's not a league that's really been done that much. Um, I've got a few goals of what I'm going to do, so that's the league I'm going to be choosing, and we'll see you when um, it's going to do like another 10 minute thing to load up all the, the league and information, so I'll see you in a minute. And I've already filled in the details, I will go over a few of these and why I chose them. Favourite team, Newcastle, because that is my favourite team. Second nationality as Brazilian, and um, I've done this mainly be because I have actually tested this out in uh, previous saves in other uh, in other Football Manager games. Um, I had one player that came to me, and um, you know he basically wanted to leave when a bigger club came in for him. I tried it again with you know the uh, same team, the same player I bought. Tried it with a manager with second nationality as Brazilian, and um, he actually got me. Um, you know, in the players' uh, stats, it said one of his friends is me. Other big clubs came in from, and he didn't even want to leave. He didn't even say he wanted to leave, and no, he didn't even hand in any transfer request that uh, happened in the previous save. So, um, I think it does help, especially you do want to communicate with the players that you're going to be buying. Especially, they're going to be Brazilian for me, so I think that will do. Um, Semi professional to scope what you're going to be doing. Um, if you think about it, most big professional players or you know internationally known players never really make good coaches. Maybe a or a good manager, apart from uh, maybe Pep Guardiola. Apart from that, not many have really have not really gone down that route. Most of them have been semi-professional, or even Sunday League. Um, pretty much like uh, Jose Marino. You know, he didn't. He wasn't a professional footballer, so, and he's regarded as one of the best managers around. And uh, there's uh, many, many managers that never were real big international stars. So, choose what you like. I've just prefer semi-professional and, uh, and that's the address me so it doesn't matter so we go next okay so this is where we're going to be selecting the team to choose and there's a array of teams that we could go into we could even go into the Serie A if we wanted and uh, manage a team but I said I'm going to be doing Sweden and that's what I'm going to be doing I really could work on a shoestring and do a team in like the second division bring them up but um, it's probably going to be you know small budgets I even in the main league so I'm gonna be doing this league um, I think I'm probably going to be doing Kalma maybe um, let's have a look at their squad a sec go senior squad and I can already see two TRNs which mean transfer arranged 
and that means he's already been sold. So, and he's a Brazilian as well, so I. All right, there's one or two Brazilian. That's just quite a few. Okay, I might do Calma actually um, to replace those players. Another team that I was contemplating was uh, Dijagadens or Dijagadens. Um, I've done this team before, and they were they were quite good for me. But um, you know what? I think I'm going to go with Calma or Karma. Yeah, Calma. They've got decent stats. They're worth three and a half mil or three point three mil even. And um, you're not really going to get much in training in youth. So being seventh isn't too bad. That's not you know in the bottom section, but it's not actually going to be in the, the the top three or even winning the league. So I think this will be a good team to do it with. So that's the team I'm going to choose. Now let's get started. All right, don't save it yet. All right. If for those of you new at this game, I would 100% uh, um, tell you to do this because it tells you everything in interactive tutorials of what to do, and it really is helpful. But I don't really need to use it. Okay, this is the main overview page, which really has you know it's an overview of everything you have: your league table, your next game, fixtures, squad statuses, and your inbox, which is the main area you get all your news and information. Okay, so. Um, yeah, we're in the Swedish league. We're Kalmar FF, and um, just gonna check the inbox and see um, basically news about uh, me ta taking the job. Um, a welcome message from the chairman Johnny Pettersson. Um, a background information about Kalmar. You know when they won the league, and um, that's quite handy. You know it gets you in the feel with the club. Um, transfer updates. So they say. Uh, Daniel um, Sobralense is due to complete his transfer to Gothenburg in Jan, and um, I think there's who else? Oh, a striker maybe going, and we've also losing Stefan Larsson, who is a quality player. So we'll, I think we're being depleted. We're a team that are being taken advantage of by bigger clubs. Um, actually, we'll look again if. Uh, Ellsborg. Okay, they're pretty much going to be a uh, top team, I reckon. Where do they finish? Fourth. Alright, so they're a higher team than us. And so is Gotteberg, I would have thought. Although, in that um, overview, it doesn't look like it. Where do they finish? Seventh. Are oh, they finished where we're supposed to you know, want to finish? So they're probably two better teams than us in the league. And two of our probably bit, uh, better players have gone there. Is a key player as well, and we've lost. He's worth 400k. How much is he going for? Uh, what transfers. He's going for full transfer. It doesn't say. For new contract, no. Doesn't actually say, and it looks like he's gone. For nothing. So we've lost him for nothing. Oh, brilliant. Right, so we've lost a player worth 400k for nothing. Probably one of our better players. Brilliant play by the people that were at this club beforehand. So, the camera report, and isn't it insult to injury? Uh, was it Gilles? Has picked out Daniel so uh, Sobralance to report, blah, blah, blah. Basically, that's your best player in this whole team. Wonderful. This is uh, the squad depth, and we're just going to have a quick glance at this. Seeing the areas that we're weak in. Um, attacking, we don't look too bad as a striker. I'm probably going to do a 4-3-3 formation anyway, so wingers with one striker. And uh, to have, was it, two or three good players. I might buy a youth player, actually, for a striking role. I get a prospect coming up for a year and see how that goes. Um, as you can see, our best um, player, look at that, a, a um, attacking midfield centre or attacking midfield right or attacking midfield left. Best player is Sobralense. Um, Daniel Mendes, I think he's a striker. Was he? He's our best midfield left. The best midfield right is Tobias um, Eriksson. So if we even look in the depth, I think wingers is definitely going to be an area we might need. Um, we might need to buy in. And um, yeah, I think we might need a winger. Uh, what else? A DMC. We have Henrik Rydström, who's 35. Wow, he's got no pace. He's got a lot of influence, though. So I think he's still you're still a quality player, but I think I need someone to take over his role. He's not going to be playing week in week out. 
Uh, this guy looks decent actually, but again, no pace. And he's a midfielder, not a DMC. Midfield looks okay actually. Ericsson and Eric is Railson, so that's not too bad. Defence uh, don't look too bad. I actually might buy another centre back because that guy Stefan Larson is leaving. So I'm gonna buy one uh, centre back. And um, oh, actually, wait a minute. Stefan Larson is a left back. All right, okay. We need a centre back and a left back. So to round this off, we need a left back, centre back, maybe a midfielder, a winger, and a youth prospect. So that's quite a few players to look for. Um, welcomes you to the club. He has a recommendation of Johan Larsson, who's 600k. Wow, he's expensive. And he plays for a rival club. Um, how much does he think I can get him for? 450k. And he would like to come to the club. Um, I said I do need a winger. And uh, from this, he looks actually quite a good player. I'm surprised. They say it isn't too much between them. What position does he play? Attacking midfield right. So I might keep a check on this. It depends if this guy is too much. Um, I'm going to check now how much my budget is. And my budget is 140, no, 152k. Okay. Beautiful. I think I'd do Euro qualification. I'd be a little bit pessimistic of where we can end up. Um... But 152k, wow, this is really going to be a tough, um, it's going to be tough to buy these players. Uh, a good thing we could do on a few of the players is to um, basically, on a player, um, say we want him, we just basically offer it in 24 months time. That's one way of getting around it. Um, but there's a few players we're looking at. This is a league I'm going to have to scour. Um, you can do a search, but the search sucks. I mean, like, I've I've already done it before. You put in the search, and because you've got not good enough scouts, they basically only have, like, a th like three or four players here. And you, there is hundreds more than that. So the best way I, I think about looking for players is going to a country, going to visit all clubs, and then you can choose their reputation and go down. So say you want a team that's big but not too big, to find a good player in. You're going to be looking around here for like Gremio or Sao uh, Quatano, uh, Izaka, ASA, Fortaleza, Parana, whatever. So let's look here. And then you look in the senior team, mark it down to say, or age if you want some youth players, and uh, have a look at some players. I mean, this guy actually looks pretty beast, I've got to say, for an 18 year old. Um, could be worth a scout but this is a good way of checking for players and if you were choosing a lower league team which I will be doing uh, as you can see there his wages are quite low and the prices sometimes could be quite low um, so that's what I'm going to be doing it's going to take me quite a while to compile a list of these players we'll be right back